Hi there, today we're going to take a look at how to use the practice test feature in Alberta's exam space, which is called Veretta. So this will be usable for grade 6, 9, PAT exams, provincial achievement tests, and also for those of you that are looking to do the diploma exam soon. So at the website below, abed.vretta.com, that's where we're going to head over today and take a look at how to use the practice test feature. When we get to that page, the part we're going to look at right now is at the very bottom where it says try a practice test. So you'll notice in the top right hand corner that it says log in and it indicates that I'm not logged in anywhere and that's exactly what we want. We can be a student, a teacher, a parent, anyone can come and try this practice test piece. So it's a great way to kind of familiarize yourself before you're going to do the test. So let's just pick, we can pick either grade six, nine, or 12. Let's go with grade nine, a PAT is coming up. And so here we have a whole list of the tests that are available. You'll notice that we have both part A's and part B's. Let's look at math. So if we click into a math test, you can see this looks like the paper copy. So we've got all the instructions here and you can see we can look at the copyright information if we'd like. Turn that off and then on the left hand side I'm going to go continue to questions. So right underneath those two dots and then you'll see I have a whole list of questions on the right and on the left I also have some tools as well. So uh, bottom right I can navigate between the pages and so let's say I go to question six next uh, and if I go back it does take me back through question two and one but there's all of the questions I can type an answer in go to next and continue on that way and you'll see once I put an answer in it gives me a blue dot on the left to see that I have finished there's a couple tools that we want to look at we can zoom in and out. We also have a line reader. Now there's not much on this test to read right here, but this line reader allows us to, uh, we actually have to click and move it up and down the page and that allows us to focus. It's really good if we have a longer passage such as we might have in English language arts. And we'll click on that again to get rid of it. And we have some other tools if I wanted to do some uh, math work, if I wanted to do some writing down here, click that on again, I could do some drawing. There we go. There it comes. So I could do some math work if I wanted. At the bottom I can clear the drawings. I also have a highlight tool that I can use. So we've got some different pen tools down here. You can see some of them pop up at the bottom. If I wanted to change my pen color. Uh, this is the screen color changer. So the fill bucket uh, makes my page a different color. So let's say I read better in purple or yellow, whatever color might work best for me. I have that ability. I can ha pop open a little note screen. So the idea of the practice test is that students or anybody can come on in here and you can play around. This is an actual previous Math 9 exam and so you're also getting great math prep help as well. So if you get stuck, there's a little eye icon and it tells you what some of those icons are. The very top icon on the right hand side is a listen button. Now this listen button is not going to read anything that I have written but anything that's part of the test will come through in the listen button. So now it's reading the test to me so it's a recording of the test and I can also play change the playback speed at 0.75 the lady reading was very slow so I can change that. So this is available to all students in the test window. So we're back on the practice test page and let's take a look at another example that has more writing. So if we look at a language arts part A, we can see there is the instructions, um, audio, again we can go to the written assignment. So on a written test this is where your kids will really want to practice. Right now if you look in the bottom right of my screen it's set to split. Uh, that's where I would have used it last time. So if I have left, I can just go page to page and it looks like I'm turning pages in a book. If I go right, then I just get the paper page. A lot of students like to have the split page so that they can have the question on one side and the answer on another. And again, we can come in here and we can use some of the highlight tools, for example, if we wanted to mark on the page. 
I could use the freehand tool if I wanted to circle something else. So we can mark up the page if we'd like, and then when we want to type, exit the drawing tools, then I'll get my cursor back, and now I am typing. Now, if I want to use some other text features, I have some of these in here as well, and I have a redo and an undo button, so that's great. At the bottom, you'll see that I have a word count tool, so some students like to have that on. That can be helpful. If I want to come back and flag this question uh, to make sure that I don't submit without finishing, when I go to submit, it says, hey, you've got uh, something you want to draw your attention to. Come back here, take a look, look at that. You'll also notice some basic word processor features. So I've got some typing problems. It gives me the red underline and some solutions. Now it says I should have a comma. I agree with that. Um, so it will give you some basic suggestions if you click on it. So I can flag it to come back later, ignore all. Now one thing to note as well is that when you're doing an actual test, this is the only browser window that will be open, the only tab. So uh, if this was a real test, the test would prompt me to close all other windows before I did the test. So even in the practice version, I have all my tabs open. I could Google something if I wanted. During the test, the real test, uh, you will not be able to do that. Remember that there are versions available for most courses. There's a part A and a part B, and those are actual previous versions of tests. But do remember in the practice version, that it, there is no saving. So if you're on a Chromebook, you probably can't print. Your teacher won't see your, your work. So teachers don't have them do practice tests for things that you want to mark. We'll give another video to show how to do that.